Okay, so this is uh, this is an old, uh, well, this is actually an AECV uh, that was used in a block of flats, uh, and it began to leak. It had a gas leak from the uh, from the spindle here where it turns. Uh, it had several engineers out, and this was in a really awkward position, and no one was willing to repair it. So I went out there, and I didn't repair it to begin with. Um, I regreased it. So I've got some video footage of me regreasing it, but I'll show you basically what I did. So it was in quite a tight location, but to regrease uh, these old gas cocks, you simply turn the gas off, obviously, unless you're incredibly brave or stupid, one of the two. You undo the uh, back nut here. This back nut also determines how tight the uh, the gas cock is to turn. So you quite simply undo that. This has all been done before, so this is why it's all so easy now. Undo that, put it to one side there. Um, then you take off the uh, this little piece here. This is keyed, so it, uh, gives you the positive stop um, and you quite you quite simply pull this out now this is something not enough people do nowadays take that out and uh, so on a job I would use a cloth well, you'll see me using a cloth I've actually got video footage of me doing this so this had a uh, half millibar leak from this spindle There's the gas cock cleaned. You, uh, well, there's the plug. Sorry, there's the plug cleaned. And now you would just quite simply get in there. You won't be spinning it around on the job, but you, <laughs> you get your finger in there, give all that a clean out. And this works more than 90% of the time on these old valves. Easily more than 90% of the time. Don't know why people don't do it anymore. So, this is all I did on the job. I cleaned it out. I got some of uh, this grease. There you go. Got some of that grease. The 1102 gas cock grease. And you just need, as someone else on YouTube says, a little dab will do ya. A tiny little bit goes a long way. So that's a bit on there. I'll just put a couple of little wipes in there, not too much. If you can see that, uh, see that in there, there. Just two little stripes of it. Then you quite simply drop the plug back in and you work it back and forth. And you'll feel it that it's suddenly, you know, that's quite, that grease is now holding that plug and that valve. There's some sort of stiction, I'll call it there. Once you've got that and it moves nice and freely, you then quite simply put on the key. Drop it on and then this back nut, the tighter you do the back nut, the better the seal, but the tighter you do the back nut, the uh, the harder it is to turn the gas cock. So all you do is nip that up to a point where the gas cock feels like it should. And that's it. That's nice. Nice and tight. And uh, so on the particular job I'm 
you've seen me do this on, had a half millibar drop. I uh, re-greased that plug, cleaned the valve, re-greased the plug, refitted it, and uh, after testing there was zero drop. I tested it twice, no drop. Um, I did have to go back and change the valve. That's for other reasons that I won't go into because it's a bit of a pain. But um, anyway, the valve did get replaced, and that's why I'm able to bring it here and show you this. But this valve, although it's very old, is perfectly serviceable. That's what's so great about the old stuff. This uh, this could go in someone's house and probably last a hundred years. Um, if people just looked after it. So why people don't go around and God, it's filthy, yes. Why people don't go around and grease these anymore? I have no idea because I done it. It took me about all in all the whole job probably took me about half an hour or so and it got someone heating in hot water uh, and it sealed a gas leak so watch the rest of this and you'll see me do it Okay, so there's a link in the description for this uh, for this grease, and this is the sort of thing you're going to carry on your van for probably four or five years and never use, and then one day it's going to get you right out of the you know the sticky stuff. So it'll be Christmas Eve or so, and it'll be at your nan's. Uh, it's just worth having a thing, even if it sits on the van for years. One day you'll use it, and it will get someone out of trouble. It, probably you, to be honest. So um, give it a go.